Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Old Mother Brewing Company and they are based out of Frederick, Maryland and this is their Smash Burger in Paradise. A double IPA. Want to think there's a little nod there obviously to Jimmy Buffett, the late great Jimmy Buffett. So, Smash Burger in Paradise is a collaboration with a burger company called 5050 Burger. Um, they have, 5050 Burger has been, if I remember correctly, yeah, a food truck outside of their tap room f for a very, very long time. And uh, they just recently uh, built a tiny little kitchen in um, inside the tap room specifically so 5050 can get in there and make their smash burgers which are really good I will say. Uh, back to the beer this is 8% ABV there is no canned on date I did look for that so uh, I got this maybe two it's actually I, I would guess guessing that it's Maybe a little over a month old at this point in time. Untap says, oh, well, 5050 is putting a kitchen inside Old Mother Brewing. So we decided to put our heads together and brewed a delicious double IPA using some new techniques and different hot products we have been anxiously waiting to experiment with. Well, yeah, I already saw some of this, so I'll just read it. Anyway, this beer is medium-bodied, showcasing wonderful fruit-forward flavor and aromas of peaches, sweet melon, and papaya. Showcasing El Dorado, incognito hop product, and experimental brew-1 hops. We are stoked with how this one turned out. All right, let's get into it. Um, I have had this before. But I don't remember really what I thought of it. So, <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. I did pour a little slightly aggressive there for a second. All right, so that pours out, I want to say like a tangerine coloration, like the slight... You know, primarily yellow with a slight orange tinge to it. Definitely hazy. Poured out with one finger of, I'm going to say a nice soap sudsy white head. It's a nice looking beer. Take a breath here. And let's get a nose on her. Okay, yep, I could see the uh, juicy tropical notes that they mentioned there. Um, I could see that papaya for sure. Like, definitely a, a creamy papaya. I'd also go with some berries. I can't, I already, you know, short-term memory loss here. I uh, can't remember what I just read exactly, but I want to say there's definitely some, like, uh, like a berry medley uh, mix in there along with uh, papaya notes. Yeah, very sweet and juicy smelling, uh, if you could smell juicy. Mmm, it does smell really good. I'm excited to get into it. Cheers! <sighs> yeah, I would say higher side of medium body almost has this cream, uh, again, maybe it's the flavor and the smell coming off here, but like, has like a creaminess to it. Yeah, that's a nice mouthfeel. 
for sure. I have been to uh, Old Mother Brewing a, a handful of times, not not a ton. They're they're in Frederick, uh, but they are just slightly more out of the way for me to get to. Uh, just a little bit more difficult, so I I don't make it there often enough. Yeah, there's definitely a creaminess to it. Well carbonated. I actually feel as if the, the carbonation uh, is adding to this creaminess. All right, so definitely getting the papaya up front. It's a little odd though, based on the smell, I, I was kind of expecting a little more, you know, like that juice bomb than I'm actually getting. I'm almost kind of lost for words, like you get, you definitely get that papaya up front, but there's definitely a decent amount of bitterness that I feel as if is probably stripping away a lot of the flavors there. It's also possible this can is older and some of the flavors are dying off. I'm not getting any like tea notes or anything that would make me think it's turning by any means. All right, definitely the papaya up front. Midway through, just got it now. Very subtle, subtle berry notes. And I can't really pinpoint an exact berry. It's, it, I go back to a berry medley. It's just like a mix of, of berries. Finishing though, definitely finishing bitter. Yeah, it's, it's like a, uh, I want to say a uh, grapefruit style bitterness. With all of that said, I, I, I feel as if I'm, I'm painting this in a bad picture, but uh, it's a good beer. Um, I, again, it was just one of those like, man, on the nose, it smelled so juicy and fruit forward. And I mean, those notes are there. just not as much as what I got on the nose. 8%, I will say it drinks like an 8% in terms of the body and mouthfeel. Uh, however, there's no burning or warming in the chest. It's not boozy at all. Um, I'd, I'd say it's a good beer. All right. I think that's all I'm going to really get out of this one. So, Old Mother and Old Mother Brewing Company and 5050 Burger, uh, their Smash Burgers in Paradise, a double IPA. I'll give this a 3.7. Um, it's 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 a solid beer. It's a good uh, New England IPA. Just. You know, it's slight letdown in terms of what I got on the nose compared to uh, the actual flavor itself. So that's all for this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know, have you had anything from Old Mother Brewing Company? Or, at this point, let me know if you've had anything uh, from Frederick and or Maryland in general. And what did you think of it? Till next time. Peace.